headphones. Yeah. I'm like a buzz buzz. No. That's worse. Sounds like I'm zapping mosquitoes. Oof. Just getting worse. Yeah. Bring in Robin. Yeah, it's a little bad. It's still there, but it's better. No, it's good. I can't hear anything now, but it's good. Any better? What about Eddie Vedder? Is it better? Oh, no. Uh, it's still faint. It, it's definitely better, but it's faint. It'll be fine once I start oh, talking. I know what it is. I know what it is. I see it on two. Go ahead. Oh, see if that's gone. Ah, now it's gone. Okay. Somebody had two pushed. That's fine. There you go. There we go. All right. Get it started. All right, everybody, we're back after a uh, short hiatus with the Alpha Male Show. What's going on, everybody? Kirsten Ross in the house. Rich Reds, what's going on, brother? My boy, Steve Renish. What do you mean it's about time? For once, I am on time. Crying out loud, I'm a comedian. I'm supposed to be late. It's part of the shtick. How's everybody doing? Good to be back. Uh, I must apologize for not being here last week, uh, but uh, it is that time of the year. Uh, my daughter will be graduating high school. There are uh, tons of dinners and scholarship uh, award in the evenings and all those fun, fun things that I really don't need to be a part of, but I'm still there. Uh, but I am grateful everyone is here to see me. At least the three years. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. Just to give everybody a heads up, next week, Bruno the Great will be here. Uh, I don't know Bruno's last name, so I'll be calling him Bruno the Great. Uh, I've heard some of his music. It's pretty cool. Uh, he's a pretty good guitarist and uh, singer and uh, whatever else he does. Uh, and apparently he has a girlfriend, so hey, props to him. Uh, so we will uh, we'll be checking him out finally. Uh, was confirmed last night through his agent. Hey, Darlene and Joy Ventosa in the house. What's going on, Ventosas? Good to see you people. It's good to see everyone. I love seeing everyone. Uh, let's see. What, uh, what else do we have? Uh, the weather kind of screwed up my weekend time and time again. Uh, me and my friends, last weekend we actually did uh, Thanksgiving in June. Thanksgiving in June is a little painful. Jimmy Bonanimo in the house. What's going on, Jimmy? He is uh, responsible for Bruno the Great coming in next week. He's the one who set it all up. Um, so just uh, remember that Bruno reach out to me or I'll reach out to him. He can call me, text me, uh, smoke signals, whatever he's got, Jim. Uh, We've got to get him in here because uh, the world needs to see his talents. Let's go. Uh, let's see. There's so much I want to talk about. Um, new thing coming out, got to, uh, got to bring it up. Uh, they were talking about drones delivering pizza. You know, they, all of a sudden Uber getting stuff, uh, to us isn't quick enough. We have to have Uber deliver. We have to have Uber having drones come to my house and dropping off a pizza. Now, maybe it's me, but I don't think when they when they went out for the technology and all the uh, all all the, whatever they do, 
Uh, no, actually, I don't have an oven, Danielle, but uh, I'll tell you what, I can go get one of them easy bake ovens. They used to work good. Feel free to come cook on my show. I will eat. If you cook, I will eat. But we can't eat in studio. There's a sign. We can only have water in the studio. But we can eat outside the studio, and they could set up a camera. Because last week, we used to have a paranormal show that came on before mine. But they're a bunch of homos, and they couldn't find any dead people. So they're gone. We got rid of them. Because guess what? You're a paranormal show who's supposed to be talking to the dead. Where's Elvis, huh? Where, where is he? You didn't produce Elvis, did you? Why? You're phonies. Glad you're not here anymore. You people were freaky, and I didn't like coming in and seeing you. Your girlfriends were fat, and they smelled funny. And that kid out there eating wings, he was all impressed with himself because he was eating wings. I would have polished off that plate in 24 seconds. This guy's all excited. Well, look at me. I'm eating hot wings. With my silly little hipster doofus hat on. God, I hated that show. Thank God they are gone. My God. Where am I hearing me? I'm hearing me somewhere. I'm not really sure where. Let's see. I'm off here. Maybe the iPad's on. Uh, yep. There we go. Because people have to hear themselves. When they're on the on the iPad, it's not good enough to just. Uh... Did I mention I hated the show that was on before me? Thank God they're gone. Bunch of weirdos. Hi, I talk to dead people. Now we're gonna talk about mummies because mummies are cool. Hey, here's what you do: go get some bandages, wrap yourself up, and throw yourself down the street. Jesus criminies! Can't believe the people I have to be nice to. It's my problem. I'm just too giving and I'm too nice. I have to stop that. I have to stop being so charming. Ugh. Look at this. Now the not a whole thing paused. Oh, everything's going to shit again. How's everybody doing? Yes, ba back to the drones. The drones are delivering pizzas. The drones, I'm pretty sure, were meant to drop bombs on people's heads. They weren't designed to come and deliver McDonald's to people's houses. Yeah, hey, we want to, uh, we want to, we want to Uber Uber Eats delivery. We're just gonna attach it to this drone and fly it over there. It's like the new carrier pigeon. Except they're gonna they're gonna take the drone and they're gonna put it on the pizza. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stand outside. I'm gonna come around the neighborhood. When I see a flying pizza, I'm shooting that drone out of the sky. Free pizza for me. Screw you. That's what I see. I see free food all over the friggin' place. Hey, Darlene's here. Hi, Darlene. Good to see you. And your husband is always yelling at me for being on time. The drones delivering pizza. I'm going to steal every one of them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to corner the market on drones. I'm going to shoot them all out of the sky. Uber will go broke. Where happened to all our drones? They're all lying in a pile somewhere in the Lindhurst Rutherford area. Okay. I agree, darling. I'm going to shoot down every one of those drones. I'm going to steal their pizzas and their McDonald's and their Burger Kings, and I'm going to have a feast. I'm going to invite a college football team to my house and feed them McDonald's. Just, just like our buddy Trump did. Hey, did anybody hear about that soccer girl? That uh, I don't even know who she plays for. I didn't read the article because I hate people, and I hate reading. Reading is bad for you, by the way. Uh, I'm almost 50, and I don't need glasses. Why? I don't read. So reading is bad for you. Carl Carbone in the house. What's going on, Carl? Okay. Either my head's about to explode because my ears are ringing, and I don't hear myself in my headphones. Not really. That doesn't matter. I can hear myself anyway. I don't need headphones to hear me be obnoxious. Anyway, apparently, this lady is representing the U.S. soccer team in some kind of soccer tournament thing. I don't, I don't know the first thing about soccer, to be honest with you, uh, even though one of them is my sponsor. I, 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 I have a very hard time following soccer. I don't know any of the rules because they don't seem to have rules. They, you, know, uh, you can't punish me by showing me a card. 
It's like, what are you, a magician? You show me a card? Here, pick a card, any card, red, yellow. Give me the card. Beat it. Anyway, she is, gonna, uh, she is going to protest the Trump administration by taking a knee for the national anthem. That's how she's going to protest the uh, Trump administration. The way I see it is, Gene, if I get any louder, my head's going to explode. What are you doing out there? Yes, it was low, and then you just kept turning it up. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Anyway, as I was saying, this lady's crying and complaining that she's going to take a knee during, during the national anthem to protest the Trump administration. The way I see it is, it took it took a while, but Donald Trump finally got a lesbian to get down on her knees. Good for you, Donald Trump. Good job. Okay, we've been trying to do that for years. Okay, now I got I got a bit of a long rant to go, and thank God it's uh, I don't know what time it is, because the clock on the wall appears to be malfunctioning. Okay. I have 811. I'm going with 811. Okay, because this is going to be a bit of a long rant. Okay, recently they they put up, uh, it looks like the zero isn't working there, Gina. What are you in here looking for? Oh, he's going to make the speaker louder because my headphones aren't loud enough. We must, we must collectively blow up my skull in the middle of this session. Well, Gene wants to hear it. It doesn't matter if anyone else can hear my show as long as Gene can. Just sit in. Why not? We don't need an engineer. You've proven that over the last 70 episodes, which, by the way, this is our 70th episode. That's the one I should have. Fantastic. It's six microphones away from me. It's number one, and it's six microphones away from me. Oh, thanks. It's okay. Is it going to reach me? Oh, look at this. Hang on. Let me change my. Let me change headphones. I can't be any worse. Yeah, I'm going to put these over there. Let's see. Is this any better? Yeah. Now, now this is the normal hollow sound I'm used to. What are you going to do, strangle me with the extra wire now, Gene? I was in the middle of starting a rant, and you're coming in playing with headphones. This kind of stuff should be taken care of beforehand. That's why I used to have that paranormal show, so you could test out all the equipment before I got here. Because you took the Paranormal Show, which is like the opening band that nobody cares about. And then when the real show comes in, all the equipment is working right. Because people pay to come see me. They don't pay to come see those retards and Paranormal. Oh, we talk to dead people. Ooh, we're spooky. Retards. What a bunch of weirdos. Go play Fortnite in your basement against some 12-year-old from Oregon, you losers. That's where you're going to be on Thursday nights, being losers. We play Fortnite against uh, this kid from Seattle, uh, and he talks to dead people, and he can see them too because he's in an M. Night Shakagulu movie. Jerk-offs. That's what we got to deal with. All right, can I get back to my rant that I'm about to start here? Okay, as I was saying, just recently, they started raising all these rainbow flags in, in honor of gay pride. And I got to be honest with you, I, I don't care if you're raising. I, I mean, not that I don't care. I just I don't have a problem with it. You want to raise your, your, your rainbow flags to say, hey, we like to take it in the ass whenever we can. And, and you know, I'm a guy who takes man splooge to the face. Go right ahead. I, I don't have an issue. You know what? Whatever you want to do in the bedroom is fine by me. But you, you, now you just have to have a parade about it. Fine. You just want to mar- Everybody wants to have their own parade. Go ahead. I, I, I Honestly, I find parades to be pretentious and annoying. But if you want to have a gay pride parade where a bunch of homos get together and march down the street, I don't have a problem with you guys doing it. By all means, go ahead and do it. it it's completely fine by me. I, I've... Again, I got to say, I, I, hey, Kevin Connors in the house, Dino Car- Cabron in the house. I don't have a problem with gay people doing all that gay stuff that they want to do. Go be gay gays together and do it all.
But here, here's, where, here's where my problems come in. Now, somebody suggested doing a straight pride parade where a bunch of straight people get together and march in a pretentious parade to show everybody that, hey, look, we're straight people. Okay, I, I don't know why you have a need to do that, but hey, why not? But here, here's where I get annoyed. Now, I support the gays doing their, their gay thing, raising gay flags, raising gay parades, fluttering around the cities, wherever they, whatever they want to do. I don't, I don't have a problem with any of that. What's up, Kev? I, it, it's fine by me. Whatever you want to do in the bedroom is your business, your prob, your, you know, your thing. Whatever, whatever makes you happy, as far as I'm concerned, go be happy. I'm fine with that. But now, when you hear a bunch of straight guys and girls want to do a straight pride parade, your heads start exploding off of your shoulders. How dare you? You haven't been oppressed. You don't deserve a parade. You don't... Whoa, 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 whoa. If I'm supporting your gay pride parade, whatever that is, you know, all you guys dress up as penises and walk down the street, whatever it is you do with your vagina hats and all that stuff, and I don't, I don't protest and I applaud you and I support you guys, why can't I get a straight pride parade where I can walk around and I can look at some hot chicks and go, hey, I really want to have sex with her? Because let, let's remember something, gay people. If it wasn't for a guy and a girl getting together and really enjoying banging the shit out of each other, you wouldn't be here. Okay, so you can dance and skip around in your gay pride stuff all you want, and you could say, well, we can get it done in the lab. Yet yeah, really, it, it, one, that's not nearly as much fun. And two, it really hasn't, that really hasn't come to fruition in the last 30 years. You know, a lot of you are here because just two straight people decided, hey, you're sexy as fuck. I'm going to bang the shit out of you. So let's just remember, let's not go bashing the straight people. I mean, I get it. You guys had your oppression, and there were a bunch of, like, homophobic people who decided to beat the hell out of you back in the day. And, you know, back in the day, they thought there was just something wrong with you, so they figured if they gave you a beating, maybe you straighten up. But, you know, we've evolved since then, people. But, again, you can't tell the straight people we can't be happy to be straight. You know, I look at a chick's ass and I go, I got to get in that. All right? I like looking at her big cans. Don't be mad at me for that. Okay? And if I want to march around on the pretentious dumbass parade to tell everybody how thrilled I am because I want to go get laid, then leave me alone. Let me march into my parade. And while we're at it, an actor like Chris Evans came out and he bashed straight people for wanting to have a straight pride parade. And I just have to think, you probably had two really good-looking parents that got together and just nailed the hell out of each other to have you. And the last time I checked, you were nailing a pretty hot chick yourself. So... Getting mad at straight people for wanting to be straight and wanting to celebrate being straight while you're off celebrating being gay. Just because you're gay doesn't mean you get to celebrate being gay and I can't celebrate being straight. I like hot chicks. I want to be with a... If I see a chick with a tight ass and big cans, I want to get to know her. All right? I don't look at another man's hairy ass and get excited. If that's your thing... God bless you. Go with God, whatever. I'm sure God doesn't care who you're banging either. I know I don't care. And you want to have your pretentious straight pride, gay pride parade? Go right ahead. Go, march, raise your rainbow flags. Guess what? Nobody cares anymore. I mean, okay, in the backwoods of friggin' Kentucky, I'm sure there's a few people who probably still want to beat you to death with a gun, but Anybody who watched Deliverance kind of knows that they're gay, too. So, hey, Karen Breslin's in the house. What's going on, Karen? Haven't, haven't seen you in a bit. Good to see you. But it, it, it's just me. I, I, I can't get over it. And Chris, back to Chris Evans, I, I, I can't listen to this guy anymore. 
dude, you came out, you bashed the president, you don't like the president. Big shock. Somebody from Hollywood doesn't like the president. De Niro doesn't like the president. You know, all these guys, hey, Matty Coughlin's in the house. All these guys don't like, Chris Evans doesn't like the president. He doesn't want straight people to march in a parade, even though he's a straight guy and his parents are straight because that's how he got here. And his girlfriend's parents are straight because that's how she got here. Straight people having sex, men and women getting together, having sex so we can have kids so they can become gay and hate all straight people. Really doesn't make much sense to me. All right? You're running around saying you're gay. You want to play with the gays. You want to, you know, you want to frolic in whatever it is you guys do. And you want to yell at straight people for being straight. Well, if it wasn't for straight people, you wouldn't be here. So cut the shit. And Chris Evans, you came out and you had some pretty harsh words about people who want to have a straight pride parade. Let me explain something to you. You're an actor. You're not really Captain America. Okay? I know you do a pretty good job. I enjoyed Endgame. I enjoyed all your Captain America movies, except the first one. I thought it was a little little rushed and unnecessary. Uh, but I get the whole origin story of you. I, I, I got to tell you, Chris Evans, you're an actor. Robert De Niro, you're an actor. E- even James Wood, James Wood, you're an actor. Know what you guys do? Act. Go act. Know what I do when I'm not on the radio uh, and doing comedy? You know, I'm doing comedy. When I'm not on the radio, I'm doing comedy. Why? That's my job. I go do comedy, I get on the radio. When I'm on the radio, I do radio stuff. I talk to a microphone. Why? That's my job. That's what I'm supposed to do. You guys, go act. Okay? I don't care what your opinion is on anything. Why? I'm not paying you. Go get there. I'm going to get a, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get a big barrel of popcorn. I'm going to throw some butter on it. I'm going to go get one of them big giant slushies. I'm going to sit in my seat next to me. I'm going to go to one of them movie theaters that have the seats that recline all the way back. I'm going to sit back, and I'm going to be honest, Chris Evans, and, and I hope someone passes this along to you because it's worthy. I cheered when I saw you pick up Mol- when I saw you pick up Molnir Thor's hammer. I was one of the people cheering. I thought it was cool. Okay, but guess what? Deep down, I know then anyone can pick up that hammer. It's not real. You're not really Captain America. Okay? That's not a vibranium steel. It's made of tin. You're not really a super soldier. You're just some dude on steroids. Okay? Get over yourself. Every time you open your mouth and start... Matt, I already told you, come down to the show. You're welcome. You haven't showed up yet. I don't know what to tell you, brother. But again, Matt, all my, all my, all my, my shows. You can uh, just check in with me. Make sure there's going to be a show. Make sure there ain't going to be like next week. I got Bruno the Great coming in. He's going to be playing some music. <clears throat> but uh, generally, my show is all, all my show because I love listening to myself talk. I can listen to myself talk forever. If you think I talk a lot now for this one hour I'm on the show, you should hear me all week. But again, Matt, you're always welcome to come sit in. Everybody is. Excuse me, I'm burping. Anyway, Chris Evans, Robert De Niro, James Woods, all you guys who are getting political, go and act. I love watching you guys act. You're great actors. Why? Because that's what you do. I'm going to get the popcorn. I'm going to get a nice big slushy sitting next to me. I'm going to... Lounge out in the seat, and I'm going to watch the movie. And I'm going to enjoy the movie. Okay? I don't care what your political affiliation is. Shut up and entertain me. That's your job. Entertain me. Okay? I'm the guy plunking down his hard-earned money to come watch you act in a movie. Convince me you're Captain America for three hours. You did a great job. Now shut the hell up. I don't care what you think of the president. I don't care what you think about straight people having their own parade. I don't. It doesn't matter what you think. You're an actor. Your job is to entertain me. So entertain me. That's all I want you to do. Okay? You do that, and I'll come watch all your movies. If i got to keep listening to all your political rants about nothing, I, I, I don't care. And I bring up James Woods, and I love James Woods. I think he's an awesome actor. 
I loved him in Vampires. I loved him in Dice. And, and again, he's a big Trump supporter, so I don't want you to think I'm just backing the Trump guys. You know, I'm just bashing the guys who don't like Trump. But I just don't want to hear it. You know, entertainers are forgetting something. Your job is to entertain. It's not to, it's not to spew your political views all over my face. I don't care. If I want something spewed all over my face, I'll go find a female who squirts. Who we let it know? God? I hear someone screaming from somewhere and above. I know several, Sal. And by the way, Sal, if you're going to chime in on my show, do it on the air so my listeners can hear you. Don't, don't be one of those, oh, I'm background fodder. Anyway. Oh, where am I? Oh, good. I got time. Yeah, so, again, actors, stop. With, with Just stop. No one cares. Okay, that, that's generally my point. And we're going to move on. Okay, and again, gay pride parade. Go have your gay parades. Raise your gay flags, your rainbow flags. I support you. I back you. Uh, uh, I'm fine with whatever you do. I promise you, if I see you walking down the street holding hand in hand with each other, I'm not going to stop you and start swinging or go get my boys and run you over with a van or anything. I, I'm just not going to care. Because, again, whoever you're having sex with is none of my business. All right, and ladies, if you want to have sex with me, call the station. Or reach out to me on Facebook. Just saying. Steak and Blowjob Day, March 17th, March 14th, sorry. Steak and Blowjob Day is still open this year because my last Steak and Blowjob girl killed herself. But, hey, that happens. Who could blame her? So, anyway, we're going to go to this next, this next thing because it's going to lead in. It's going to lead into something. And I've said this on the show before, and I'm going to say it here again. It's extremely important. The sharks in the, in the ocean these days are becoming gigantic pussies. Now, people don't want to hear this, but it's true. When I was a kid, I was growing up, you had jaws in the water, okay? Jaws fucked your ass up. You didn't walk away from that. Jaws came after you. He dragged you under. He took you apart bit by bit, and there was nothing left of you. That was it. Jaws got you. You disappeared. End end of story. There was no coming back. There was no, oh, I'm okay now. Oh, I'm fine. Now, and this this is where I'm going with this. There was a girl, 17 years old, name of Paige Winter. And I hope somebody can find this girl and pass this on to her. Uh, She was in uh, the Outer Banks in uh, North Carolina. And she was swimming, and a shark attacked her, and he got a hold of her leg, and she was with her father, and her father pummeled the shit out of this shark. He just went to work. And I got to applaud the dad, because the dad just kept beating the hell out of this shark till it let go and said, okay, enough, I'm leaving. Problem was, the poor girl lost her leg. Her hands got all chewed up. And the shark got away. But the shark caught a beating and a half. Okay, now, back in my day, whatever the shark was doing, if a shark came up and bit someone and you punched him in the face or he bit you and you punched him in the face, the shark would just look at you and go, listen, you know, I was just kind of tasting you and getting around, but but now you, you're laying bolo blows to my head in front of all the other sharks. Now I got to kill you. Well, then why are these sharks all sissies all of a sudden? Right, these sharks ain't got any nuts left. They are extremely, extremely mad. You know, they're, they're just disappointing to me to no end. Okay? But anyway, this girl, and, and I, bring her, I bring her up, and I, I hope someone reaches out to her, and, and not that anyone's listening to the show, but somebody out there in the Carolinas has got to be listening. We've got to have one listener in the Carolinas. There's got to be one degenerate sitting in his house, 
has no friends, flipping channels for podcasts, and he comes across mine and listens. So stop in the hospital. Go see this girl, Paige Winter, 17 years old. She gets attacked by a shark, right? Shark takes her leg. They're going to amputate the leg. Her hands are all, all messed up, I guess, from punching a shark and trying to get her leg out, whatever, and her hands are all chopped up. This girl goes, well, you know, I did lose my leg, and I'm going to have to have a couple operations, but, uh, you know, I'm going to be fine. I'm still alive. So, you know, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be honest with you. I get a shark, attacks me, and I lose my, I lose part of my pinky finger. I'm going to put a bullet in my head. And this girl goes, yeah, well, you know, I lost part of my leg. My hands are a little banged up. But, you know, what am I going to tell? What am I going to do? I, I'm going to be okay with all this. So to me... That's just amazing because, again, I, I'm shooting myself in the head. In fact, after I shoot, before I shoot myself in the head, I'm going to come find Sal. I'm going to shoot him in the head. Then I'm going to shoot me in the head. Just because Sal needs to be shot in the head. His wife will thank me. Ugh. All right. Now that brings us to our next category, which is the weather has totally. Now, today, I, I don't know where you guys are in the rest of the country, but today we got pounded with rain for like three, four hours. They were talking flooding, they were talking 10 to 12 hours worth of rain. Flooding. We. I wasn't even sure I was going to be able to get to the studio to do the show tonight. And yet here I am. And why? Because it rained for like three hours. And it rained pretty hard, but it rained for three hours. How do you go from 12 to 3? You incompetent, worthless, dickless friggin' weather reporters. You meteorologists are all the same. You all suck. Not one of you can predict anything. <clears throat> Anybody else that wrong at their job doesn't have a job, except for Gene. Anybody else? No, I didn't hear from Gene. I don't even know if I have an engineer out there right now. I've just made fun of Gene and Sal in the last five minutes, and I haven't heard a peep from either one of them. So one or two things are going on. Either they've left the engineering department, or the two of them have just realized they're I am here. Oh. I am here. Gee, thanks. Just letting you know. Thanks. You also just blew my ears up. Thanks. I can no longer hear anyone, so I might be screaming because I'm deaf now. Holy cow! My whole head, my whole head just exploded. So anyway, as I was saying, either Gene and Sal aren't in the room, but apparently they are because they just screamed into my my headphones. So apparently they're just having gay sex out there. Which explains why why Sal is silent and Gene's making so much noise. We know who the top is. So, anyway, where the hell was I? Oh, yeah, I was yelling about meteorologists not having a clue as to what they do, not, not deserving the job they have. How can you miss so often? I mean, even when they throw up a softball, you screw that up and you miss it. Oh, there's a gigantic storm. It's guaranteed to hit us. Where's the storm? Ah, I went out to sea. We suck. Why don't you just come out and say it? Hey, look, we know we're supposed to have, you were supposed to have six foot of snow and you didn't get any, but honestly, we just suck at our job and there's no way to predict the weather, so we're just guessing. You can get just as much information by whipping open your window, sticking your head out and screaming, well, it certainly looks like rain tonight. There's absolutely, I would have more respect for these weather guys if they just said, look, we don't know what we're doing. This is why we have hot chicks doing it on the, on the television so you could stare at them and not pay attention to what's going on with the weather because we don't know. Okay, a couple of weeks ago, we, got, we were supposed to get, hey, my man Stephen Buddha's in the house. What's going on, Buddha? Good to see you, sir. 
couple of weeks ago, we were supposed to get, uh, on a Sunday, we were supposed to get rain all day. They said, look, you're going to get pounded with rain. It's just going to rain all day. It's not even going to be worth going out. So I stood home. I gave my daughter my car. I said, go, do whatever you want. I, I'm not going anywhere. It's going to rain all day. It turned out to be like 85 degrees and gorgeous. I wanted to go down the shore. I couldn't. Why? Because I gave my daughter my car. Good luck her getting out of bed before one. But this is the kind of crap I'm talking about. My man Buddha, he is killing it. Killing it down in Atlantic City. Uh, we promote AC Jokes here every week, and, and Buddha's a big reason that AC Jokes is as hot as it is. This guy is one of the funniest guys I ever saw. Love him to death. Miss him. I got to get down to Atlantic City and go and go check out their show. I got to be honest, though. I'm so fat and lazy. The thought of driving to Atlantic City exhausts me. And when I'm getting ready to actually get in the car to drive there, I fall asleep. But I'm going to make it down there one day this summer because I, I got to check him out. It's been too long since I've seen those guys. I miss Buddha. I miss, uh, I miss my boy Matt. Uh, those guys are awesome. I want to go out and see him real soon. Oh. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, we have all these pushy sharks out there. And this girl, Paige Winter, 17 years old, lost her leg, stays positive. All right, Buddha's going to have cake for me. There's no way I'm not coming now. I love cake. I Cake is awesome. Uh, yeah, but this girl, 17 years old, her legs get amputated from a shark attack. And she's just like, you know, I, I lost a leg and I need a couple operations, but I'm good. I'm going to be fine. That in itself to me is amazing. So for that, I'm naming this girl Paige Winter the alpha female of the week. Because God knows she deserves to be named Alpha Female of the Week. Because I'm I'm eating a bullet, honest to goodness. If I get attacked by a shark, just let the shark have me. Because I, I can't, I, I'm not going to function. If I lost a pinky finger, I'd be like, that's it. I'm no good anymore. I'm worthless. Just kill me. I don't know how people do it. Anyway, while we're at it, uh, I just named Alpha Female Paige Winter. So if anybody... Is down in the Outer Banks. Just take your drunken self over to the hospital and tell her uh, she's the alpha female. Otherwise, she'll probably never find out. Uh, alpha male this week. Uh, again, I'm behind because all these people just keep dropping dead. Like Tim Conway went down. Uh, Leon Redbone went down. Doris Day. Bill Buckner. So many people have just fallen left and right. But uh, this week... Uh, we're going with uh, the infamous quarterback of all time, Bart Starr, two-time Super Bowl champ, NFL MP. I, I'm going to be honest with you, Buddha. If I see a shark in the water, I'm having steak because I'm eating that fuck. I'm bigger than he is. You know, in, unless it's like a great white shark, you get one of these two, 300-pound sharks, I got, I got a good 50 pounds on them. I will kick their ass. Uh, Matt, let me tell you, if if you if you hadn't seen Buddha, anybody hadn't seen Buddha on stage, you're missing out. He's one of the funniest dudes ever. I literally, he's the first com. When I got into comedy, I saw some comics and I laughed at some of their stuff. Buddha, last time last time I went to the beach, I was laying on. I, I was laying on the beach. Some kids, I fell asleep on the beach. Some kids rolled me back into the ocean, and they started throwing harpoons at me, screaming they needed a bigger boat. So I, I try to avoid going to the beach because those kids just get all, all antsy, and they, get, they, they play those nutty games. But, uh, yeah, that's our alpha male and alpha female of the week. We got Bart Starr, two-time Super Bowl champ, NFL MVP, all while smoking a cigarette because he was Bart friggin' star. And uh, alpha female Paige Winter, 17-year-old, attacked by a shark, loses the leg, facing the rest of her life with, you know, a disability. I, I, I'm, i like, retarded and stuff, and I I don't know how I face every day. So, And that's not even, like, a, a diagnosed disability. I'm just not too bright. But, uh, hey, while, while we're here, what the hell time is it? Oh, 20 minutes. 
We're going to start the plugs. This way I can uh, do a recap of the show real quick. Uh, since he since he's in the room saying hi, uh, we're going to do his plug first because uh, we're going to do a spotlight plug every every week. I've been doing spotlight plugs on my my sponsors, and we're going to spotlight cl- uh, we're going to spotlight plug the AC Comedy Club. Go to acjokes.com. If you're down in Atlantic City, I'm telling you, all the best comics are down there. Uh, I mean, guys like Buddha, Matt Bridgestone, these are funny guys. That's a good point, but I, I that wouldn't even be enough. If I lost 75 pounds, I'd still be about 75 to 100 pounds overweight. I am just enormous. In fact, in order for me to get out of the studio, Gene has to, has to butter up the sides of the door. Hey, Marklin. Marklin. What up, dude? I forgot his name eventually. Uh, yeah, but uh, sponsor, sponsor spotlight this week. I know. I saw the Buddha shirt. I'm excited. I'm going to have to get a Buddha shirt. Do you, do you make them in tarp size? What, what size is Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus? That's the size I need. The big tent, not the little ones. But if you're down in Atlantic City, you need something to do other than lose money at roulette, then 3X, I need at least 4 or 5X. And, uh, yeah, AC Comedy Club down in Atlantic City, you, instead of just losing all that money at roulette and Baccarat and whatever, at slot machines and all that, go to the AC Comedy Club, go to acjokes.com. Tell them Ed from the Alpha Male Show sent you. They'll probably charge you extra. Uh, you know, Matt, I, I, I keep trying to get down there. Actually, he's going to get 4X next time. I'm going to try and lose six pounds so I can fit into a 4X. I'm just kidding. I, I can fit into a 4X as long as I suck in. Uh, but, yeah, Atlantic City is just killer. Uh, the comedy The comedy down there is blowing up all over the place. And it's all because of the AC Comedy Club. Uh, go to acjokes.com. You get discounted tickets. Uh, they're running a few rooms now. I don't even know where all the rooms are. I know they were uh, in season that uh, Gene, Gene was supposed to keep me up to date on all this, but he doesn't because he's a lunatic. Uh, but, yeah, if you're in Atlantic City, you're in the area, let's face it, you're not doing anything exciting at night. Uh, you're probably just going to go somewhere and get drunk. You might as well do it in Atlantic City. And where better than Atlantic City? After you go to a comedy show, you stumble out onto the boulevard, you find some of them $4 hookers. And I'll tell you what, they're the best. If you got $20 in your pocket, you get $17 change. AC Comedy Club. Oh, AC Jokes is you? Wait a minute. AC Comedy Club is your competition. Gene, I'm going to strangle you. Oh, my God. Tropicana, seven days a week. Oh, what did I do? Uh, you gave me the acjokes.com AC Comedy Club uh, plug. Yeah, that I've been plugging all this time. AC Comedy Club is their competition down there. No, he told me that's where it was I, years a uh, while ago. Buddha is just telling me now, AC Comedy Club is their competition, or was their competition? Well, acjokes.com is what he told me. That's what I told you. Oh my God, Gino, Buddha, I'm sorry. So. Caesar Saturday and Sunday, barely seven days, 8 p.m. Uh, cross out. Don't go to AC Comedy Club. Those guys are jerk-offs. I don't even know who they are. Go to acjokes.com. That's where you want to go. You'll find all the shows. That's where you find all those guys. I'll come down. I'll burn AC Comedy Club to the ground. Who are they to compete against my boys, Buddha and Matt? Uh, screw them both. They, I'm glad Buddha came on the show because I would have kept plugging the wrong thing all this time. My God. I'm so confused. That's all right. Just go to acjokes.com. That's where, that's where you're going to find everything. New York Comedy Club. Screw the New York Comedy Club. Let them stay in New York. All those comedy clubs in New York smell funny anyway. And they all do bringer shows. I hate bringer shows. Everything's falling apart. So acjokes.com. Forget the plugs about me saying the AC Comedy Club. 
We don't want to go to that dump anyway. Go to acjokes.com. Check out Matt. Check out Buddha. Uh, I think Zach Pickard's still down there. It's been a while. I got to get down there. I will get down there soon, I promise. Uh, I'll see I'll see what Dave Hodge is doing. He's always up for a road trip. And we'll uh, we'll bring him down there. Uh also if you're hungry and they're and here here's some new info for Josie's Pizzeria. They are now officially closed on Mondays. Uh Sal's getting up there in age and he he's you know, he's working like like a madman. Hey, Emily Carter's in the house. What's going on, Em? Uh yeah. Josie's, so Josie's is officially closed on Mondays, but it's open Tuesday through Sunday. Josie's Pizzeria, 201-933-1966, located at 228 Stuyvesant Ave in Lyndhurst, New Jersey. Uh, again, just tell Sal that uh, Ed from the Alpha Male Show sent you. Oh, also, I think he's closed July. He's going on vacation, I think, like July 1st through the 8th, something like that. Uh, I'll be on my cruise, so I really won't miss much. It, it was nice for him to schedule his vacation around my cruise. I appreciate that, Sal. Also, if you're in Florida, Brew and Burger, 28540 U.S. Highway 19 in Clearwater, Florida. Uh, dan, dan, dan. Uh, check out my boy Rocco Filarino. This is his new place, Brew and Burgers, 28540 U.S. Highway 19, Clearwater, Florida. Also, if you like animals and not just eating them like I do, check out Jen Garrett at rockamail.com. She has Paws and Claws Rescue Site. The Oh, we got a phone call? Is that legit or are you just fiddling? You're legit, and, and here is the person on the phone. Go ahead. Put them through. There you go. There you are, bud. You're on the air. Hey, what up? It's Buddha. Hey, hey Buddha. What's going on, buddy? No, listen, it's, it's an easy mistake, but here's what happened. Um, when we started in Caesars, it was called the um, Atlantic City Comedy Club, and New York Comedy Club was our partner. We tried it with a year with them. They were good. They, they didn't, we didn't really see much of a difference using them. Right. So we didn't, like, renew our contract or whatever with them. So we went our different ways, and we got the Tropicana, and then all of a sudden... Like, they followed us there and tried to, like, take over there. But then they got fired, we beat them out, and now we're doing their room in the Tropicana as well as our room. So, I mean, it's not a big difference. The The difference is we're AC Jokes and they're Atlantic City Comedy Club. That's all. They're, they're done. They're, they're trying something in the Claridge. I, I don't know. Whatever. They should, just, they should just stay in New York, you know? I agree. Yeah, New York comics shouldn't, like, shouldn't trend into New Jersey. No, they were doing some shady stuff, too, with, like, ticket sales and upgraded booths. Like, I heard people were paying up to $80 a ticket. I don't know why. What are they doing? For $80, there better be, like, you know, cocaine, alcohol, and a stripper sitting next to me. Yeah, I'm I'm in for that. Yeah. Or at least a muffin something. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nice blueberry pie or something. Yeah, I'm going to, uh... I, you know what? I lost some sales. I've only got the shirt. I've had the shirt five days. I sold a bunch, but I'm losing some sales because I should have got four and five X. I don't. I don't know why I dropped the ball. Because I'll be honest, bigger people love my shirt, and that's who it's for. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. So I should have four and five X. The only problem is like, I, you know, I'm gonna. I don't want to charge more than twenty bucks, but I'm gonna have to because those shirts are gonna cost me like you know more because they gotta pay the Chinese kids. In yeah. China, twice as much to make those shirts. I know. I get <laughs> I get these Hawaiian shirts imported from Hawaii that are made in right. China, and they they always charge me extra because I'm so fat. No, they're charging you extra for the shipping, bro. I had to ship from China to Hawaii to, to you. <laughs> well, yeah, but they, it's just extra shipping because they can't put them in tiny bags. Right, right. Yeah, I get it. You're over the weight limit. 13 ounces is what allowed in the mail. No. Yeah. I definitely. Well, how you been, man? How you been? I was just like, I was taking a dump. I'm scrolling on Facebook. I saw your your mug, and I knew who. I couldn't see who it was right away, but I you can't miss the shirt. It had to be you. I'm like, well, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm so out of the loop. I don't even know who's at Hamilton anymore. How long you been doing this show? Sorry, Jeez. bro. I don't know how long you've been there. This show I've been doing almost uh, a year and a half now. Almost two years. Oh man. 
I'm yeah. sorry, bro. I mean, no. I know you did the Animal House one. I didn't know you did this one on your own. Yeah, I was doing Animal House for a while, and uh, I Gene offered this show to me, and then I was doing both, and I just couldn't keep up with both. So yeah, I had too uh, much I, doing one. I yeah, I loved Gene and I loved the Hamilton and Gene and everybody. I had so much fun, but I just I don't I don't have I didn't have the time. And dude, I'm in Atlantic City. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. Fridays, like I, I just don't have the time, man. Yeah, it, it is. It's a lot of travel. It's guys. it's tough. I miss them. I see you guys did a lot of different. Is that room? Are you in a different room than where I was in? We're in a brand new studio. Oh, that's awesome. They that's they so finally great. knocked down the old studio and they built up this whole new studio. It's really nice. Gene and Ruben awesome. are working their butts off. I hate saying they did anything right. Yeah, you don't want to give them a big head. Yeah, no. because they, their no, egos are, are out of control. Yeah, no. I, I It looks so great. Like, dude, I, I'm like, listen, I'm not knocking on about the old, my show or how anything looks. But, I mean, that you that background looks so cool, whatever it is. Like, what the, yeah. the studio looks really good. Yeah, they they really it's really a state of the art studio. They're constantly upgrading. Yeah, you got nice mics. You got nice microphones. And yeah. I like that. Yeah, they, they're good. really dude, upgrading. We, Dude, I was there. Does Gene remember? Like, yeah, we we did Facebook Live for the first time on a show that I was on called the uh, the Offenders with Kevin Israel and, and Mike Sicoli. Like, yeah, that was like like when first when Facebook Live first came out. Right. Oh my god, we couldn't do anything. Yeah, nothing worked. You'd get booted. If you played two seconds of a song, they blocked your feed. It was so ridiculous. They they still do that. When I, I open my show to Overkill, if I don't put We Don't Own the Music on the post, they cut off the first minute of my show. Do you know how I got around it? I, I, the song I had was a Rage Against the Machine song, but it was an instrumental, right. and I had stuff from movies over it, so... It totally changed this. Like it totally changed it. So they didn't ever. I know we never got. Matter of fact, Gene was like, we were the only ones that weren't getting locked in the beginning because the song that I had didn't. It was an instrumental, so I didn't. We didn't get in trouble for it. So, but we we would get blocked every once in a while, though. It was weird. It was weird. Yeah. It was hard. It was hard to do too because I was doing it off an iPad. We were trying to get it on the. On the tripod, then I had someone holding the freaking iPad the whole dude. It was nuts. But you, what you guys are doing, it looks awesome. We, I was there back when it all when we were all trying to just figure shit out. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, he knows. I probably my show, right, Gene? How many how many mixers did you go through on the Buddha Radio Show? Like two or three, right? Yeah, a lot of a lot of them. Yeah, absolutely. It was a good time, though. I got to come out there, man. I miss you, bro. We we do I'm miss you. We we love you. We miss you and John. And uh, you yeah. know, you know, you know. I understand you got to you know continue on, but I tell Ed all the time. I miss some guys, you know, some guys, uh, Craig, some guys. Craig, yeah. Some of the best shows I ever did was when Craig Moygren and I were in studio. I mean, that was like golden, man. Oh, that that you can't ask for better than that. You and Craig. Oh my God, bro. Cause he, oh my God, it was just awesome, but. I'm going to let you go. I'll come. I'm going to contact you, Ed. I want to come on your show. Hey, I'm around any, on Thursdays. Just, anytime you want to come up on a Thursday, now, so. just just come in the studio. You're always welcome, brother. All right, bro. Have a great show. Love you guys. You Thank too. You I love far. you. I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right, everybody. That is the great Stephen Buddha on the phone. All right, we're just about done here. Let's uh, just finish up the plugs. North Jersey Lions Football Club. Follow them on Facebook. Buy up some of their... Uh, there's stuff. They're doing a ton of good stuff for kids. they got clinics going on right in the Lindhurst area. Uh, you're going to love them. Check them out. Also, if you want great barbecue, Jim Dandy's in, uh, at 102 Park Avenue, Rutherford, New Jersey. Uh, always a great place to eat. Hey, Mr. Scardino's in the house. Anthony, I owe you a phone call. I will give you a holler as soon as my show is over. Uh, we got to talk about uh, soccer and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't forget you. I'm just uh, swamped all day. Love you, brother. Uh, also, Divorce Diary Show dot WordPress dot com. Divorce Diary Show dot WordPress dot com. Uh, my good girl Michelle Trania, I uh, love her to death. Uh, check her out. Check out her shows. Uh, she's one of the best. Also, Monday nights, uncomfortably funny podcast from seven to nine with Dave Hodginowski, Anthony Ennis, and Shay Farrell. Uh, all brought to you from Pet Cemetery Studios 2. Great show. Always fun to be there. Uh, 
and blah, 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 blah. Uncomfortably Funny Podcast. Check them out Monday nights. Uh, you stream Facebook unless anything gets thrown off Facebook. And then uh, I think they're on Skype and a couple other places. Just uh, find them. They're always worth uh, – show is always entertaining and different. Uh, they don't plan stuff, so they just uh, wing it for two hours. It's fantastic. And all of this is brought to you by HamiltonRadio.net and 102 DLG Radio Orlando and iHeartRadio. And uh, that's where we're at. Uh, next week, I will remind everyone, I will be bringing in Bruno the Great. Uh, I will figure out his last name between now and then, but right now it is Bruno the Great. Uh, he will be in here next week jamming uh, music and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and H&R Puffin stuff and all that fun stuff. So definitely check out next week as we bring in a guest and you don't have to listen to me scream and holler for a straight hour and lose my voice because I will be interviewing Bruno the Great. I believe his girlfriend will be in here uh, some point. I think she's coming in with us. She says she plays the piano. I hope she has a keyboard because I hate to see her have to carry a baby grand up five flights of stairs. But, uh, hey, you know, if she's, a, if she's Russian, she won't have a problem with it. Uh, she'll just strap that right to her back and carry it up here. But uh, that's what he's telling me. Also, uh, ah, Bruno Suter, just like the hockey player, Bruno Suter. We're going to keep calling him Bruno the Great because I hate the Sutter brothers. Hey, Matt Wolf, just in time for me to wrap up the show. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, let's see. Hopefully by next week, some drones will deliver me some pizza. We will be here next week for uh, for uh, Bruno. And then the following week after, I'm going to try and get another guest in, which, oddly enough, two guests in a row would be a streak here at Alpha Male Show. Two weeks of me not spouting off at the mouth. And then the week after that, I will be on a cruise because Thursday will be July the 4th. So, uh, everybody, I want you all to, uh, what do I want you to do? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, everybody, tune in next week, same time, 8 to 9, Bruno Suter, Bruno the Great. Uh, in the meantime, everybody, have fun, Have be safe, stay happy, and uh, see you next week with a smile. How about that? Way to go, Mr. Caputo. Bringing that up from days past. No one will remember that except me. Uh, all right, everybody. Have a great week, and I will see you next week, same time, same place. Have a great night.